The Cardinals fire sale continues, this time trading left-handed pitcher Jordan Montgomery and right-handed pitcher Chris Stratton to the Texas Rangers in exchange for number 11 prospect in the Rangers organization, Tekoa Roby, number 14 prospect in the Rangers organization, Thomas Segisi, and left-handed pitcher John King. The Rangers already yesterday went out and acquired a big fish in Max Scherzer. This time they're going out to ensure their bullpen success and get another starting pitcher in Jordan Montgomery, one of the best rentals on the market. Jordan Montgomery was traded to the Cardinals last year at the trade deadline in exchange for Harrison Bader. So that was a big trade and his Cardinals tenure was really a success. This season in 2023, he has a 3.42 ERA and 21 starts, 121 innings pitch, 108 strikeouts and a 1.248 whip. His career, he has a 3.77 ERA and 687 and third innings pitch, 647 strikeouts and a 1.221 whip. Montgomery really has been an above average pitcher the entire season. Not much run support, so his 69 win loss record isn't reflective. And he kind of ends, tends to implode sometimes, like when he gave up five uh, earned runs and seven runs total in a loss to Chicago. But relatively, he normally gets you quality starts just about every single time he goes out there. Also, going over with Montgomery is right handed pitcher Chris Stratton. He's a bullpen arm this season, 4.36 ERA and 53 and two-thirds innings pitch, 59 strikeouts and a 1.174 whip. Also traded at last year's trade deadline, when he got to uh, St. Louis last season, he had one of the best halves of his career ever, 2.78 ERA and 22 and two-thirds innings pitched. So Stratton has the the makeup to be a really above-average contributor in the bullpen, and Stratton also is a free agent after this season. Now what the Cardinals are getting in return, first up, right-handed pitcher, Tekoa Roby. He's the number 11 ranked prospect in the Rangers organization. He's 21 years old. His scouting grades are a 55 fastball, 55 curveball, 55 slider, 55 changeup, control of 50 for an overall of 45. This season in double A, he has a 505 ERA and 10 starts, 46 in the third innings pitch. He's striking out 50, walked 12, and has a 1.32 whip. And then last year in the minors at the high A, he had a 4.64 ERA. So overall, really hasn't put everything together in the Rangers minor league system. The better of the prospects, in my opinion, that the uh, Cardinals got is Thomas Segisi. He was discussed in the Scherzer trade. I really wish the Mets got him. He's a 50 hit, 50 power, 45 run, 50 arm, 50 field, overall 45 as a 21 year old. This season, double A, he's hitting 314 with 15 home runs. He's uh, struck out 95 times, walked 35 times, stolen eight bags, and has an 894 OPS. Last year with two teams, high A and uh, A ball, and double A, excuse me, he's hitting three, he hit 312 with 25 doubles and 15 home runs as well. So, I mean, his numbers are super comparable this season to last year in 11 last games. I really think Segisi is going to be something that's super, super solid for the Cardinals. The Cardinals also get left-handed pitcher John King in 2023 in the regular season in uh, Texas. He has a 5.79 ERA and 18 and two-thirds innings pitch, 10 strikeouts, and a 1.61 whip. In the minors this season in AAA, he has a 3.32 ERA and 21 and two-thirds innings pitched, and probably in 2019 was his best overall season in the minors, rated 2.4 ERA and 19 starts, 97 and a third innings pitched. So if you can turn King back into a starting pitcher, he might have something, but 28 years old, probably likely going to be a reliever at the major league level. Overall, in this trade, I really like what both sides did. Jordan Montgomery is going to be fantastic with the Rangers. I really like the shakeup of just Jordan Montgomery, especially in Texas. I think he's going to absolutely thrive and help them, you know, probably try and make a World Series. And then for the Cardinals, I think that I think he might have gotten, could have gotten a better headliner, but I really like Thomas Segisi. So I'm overall gonna give their edge to this trade to the Rangers, um, slightly though. I think the Rangers, you're gonna get an A minus, and I think the Cardinals are gonna get a B. I don't think it's that much of an unfair trade for either side. I really like what both sides did, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, hit that like and subscribe. Come back with more trades, um, videos coming as the trades come out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.